Kia ora, welcome. Um, this is a very special occasion for Marlene and Beverly, but before we get started, I'll just briefly say that uh, for health and safety reasons, if there's an earthquake, unlikely, but uh, just stay put, duck cover and hold. And if there's an um, and if there's a fire drill or um, a fire, then you'll proceed across the, directly across the road to the Court of Appeal, just follow staff. But, um, and the toilets, if you need toilets, they're just across the way there. Now, um, our very first speaker is going to be Chris CK, the Chief Librarian, Alexander Turnbull Library. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Evidently, this is a microphone, and I've never seen one like this before. I keep thinking I need something to hold, but um, I guess you're picking us up, eh? Good morning. It's my pleasure to welcome you here today, and thanks for coming along. Uh, the main message I wanted to give this morning is, one, to reiterate the library's thanks to Family Search for the marvellous work um, you do with us now and the work that you've done over the last um, many long while. So thank you for coming, and thanks for the work that you do. But in terms of our guests of honours, Beverly and Marlene, thank you two in particular. Uh, I was going to say something along the lines of, we will miss you, but the fact is we have missed you because we haven't seen so much of you over the last many weeks and we while, and there's been some very good reasons for that. Uh, nevertheless, um, you've let us know that you're stepping down from the roles you've been playing at Family Search, and I think it's a marvellous thing that we're able to recognise and celebrate your um, contribution through a modest morning tea. So um, thank you both. You've done terrific work. Um, I know in other, other organisations I'm involved in, there is a lot of work that comes with organising a volunteer troop. Um, no matter how excellent and wonderful the volunteers are, there is that extra layer of work that's involved in making that happen, and you've done that in a splendid um, manner over the last many years. So thank you very much. Now we have some special guests, Mike and Peter, who've come from afar to be with us today to um, uh, play a part in tri tri laying tributes to you and honouring your, um, your contribution. So without further ado, um, I'll pass on to our next speakers. But uh, I look forward to having chats with you two in particular, but all of you as our morning tea progresses. Thank you. Now our next speaker is Glenda Gale, who's the Reading Room Services Leader. Welcome. And the, it comes to mind, one of the key words that comes to mind when I think about the service that we have in our building is collaboration. And right from the word go, when I observed um, the beginning of the service where we have uh, three players in this. We have the New Zealand Society of Genealogists, we have the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints and we have the library. And I think it is a marvellous example of collaboration but as Chris said, um, as good as something is, it doesn't work if you haven't got the people behind it making it happen and you two clearly are the two of the major movers and shakers to keep this running. And I have been a coordinator, uh, a coordinator of volunteers and I know that it can be like what they say herding cats. <laughs> Your cats are particularly wonderful but I'm sure you've had to do quite a lot of herding. It's been wonderful to have you as part of the team working across this collaboration and to be able to catch up with you and meet and chat with you in the reading rooms as well so um, thank you for everything that you've done to keep the service um, running and to make it work so well with our staff as well that's really important but we hope that we're going to see you now having some opportunities maybe coming and doing your own family history. <laughs> so just come and see us at the desk and we'll be happy to help. <laughs> Thank you. Right. And I'll just introduce our next speaker, Margaret, who's a uh, research librarian, family history. Hello. I thought I'd just look back um, to when we first began the service, just to let you know how it first came about. 2006, Jan Gow was talking about setting up family research centres in Christchurch in Auckland, not, uh, not in with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, um, not based at their churches, but in other places. And uh, she conversed with various people down here, including Lindley, and they didn't have any places to um, you know, run it from, branches didn't own their buildings or things like that. And Lindley, who was organising, one of the organisers of the um, convener of the comp a big conference in Wellington, 
in 2007, she said, well, I've been um, in contact with the National Library recently. What about them, or virtually? And so there was lots of negotiations and so on went, went on, and the agreement was signed in 2006. And at a regional meeting when um, other councillors were told about um, this thing going to happen, um, apparently Marlene and Beverly put their hands up very enthusiastically <laughs> to be the organisers. So um, that's, that's how it started and we, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have it on good authority that, that that's what you two did and, and so um, we launched the service on the 31st of May in this building and I've done a folder of there showing the service that people in it at various times throughout. And uh, we opened just after Queen's birthday weekend, and, and as you know, every day the library's open, they have been here uh, 10 to 4, now Monday to Saturday. So I'd like to thank um, all the volunteers. Some of them have been here uh, for such a long time, from the very earliest days, I, I, I recognise them. And uh, I'm also like to thank those who have, uh, who have actually, the three people, Lindley, Christine and Jenny Martin, who've um, taken on the job of, at the moment, of organising the service. Thank you. And our next speaker will be Mike Higgins, who's the Latter-day Saints Area Family History Support Manager. Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, just wonderful to be here. and. Uh, I was delighted when I was invited down to this very special gathering today and uh, I was absolutely delighted when I opened my diary and saw I had a free week and so I immediately booked and, uh, and uh, just flew down this morning but just so pleased to be here. I, um, I was thinking about Marlene and Beverly yesterday and I was thinking well what, what comes to mind? And uh, my mind raced back to when I was about seven or eight years of age, watching TV, and I, I had in my mind's eye that TV program, as pathetic as it was, if we look at, back at it now, but it was Batman and Robin. <laughs> and, and I thought of this dynamic duo, <laughs> and uh, so that's really what came to mind, was, um, was uh, Marlene and Beverly, the dynamic duo, because I think in so many respects that's exactly what they were. They've, they've saved the world time and time again and uh, they've pulled every trick out of the book and discovered things and found solutions and, and I think as well like true superheroes, a superhero is, as I think of them it's all about serving mankind and uh, even though our world down here isn't the the, the worldwide world, it, but it's the, the world around here. And, um, and you've truly been superheroes. So thank you so much. I, I think about our own organization, Family Search, which is fully sponsored by the church. And uh, we have about 4,700 family history centers around the world. Um, many of them at church buildings, but um, more and more of them now are like this model here, which I personally prefer because it reaches a much wider community. And I would love to see more and more of this happen, not just here in New Zealand, but around the world. And uh, the model that's been here has been an inspiration because it's been just so very successful. So I'm grateful for the New Zealand Society of Genealogists. I'm grateful for the National Library. And, uh, but especially today, Thank you so much to these two wonderful, wonderful women who have served so faithfully and so well. Um, we can't survive as an organisation without volunteers. We would be dead in the water. And uh, you bring living life to, to, this, to this work. So thank you so much. And our last speaker is Peter Gibson, who's the New Zealand Society of Genealogists Councillor. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I joined um, Pororo branch of the Society only but over three years ago, so uh, I'm very much a newbie to uh, genealogy in general. 
and the society as well. I'm still learning. One of the first things I did learn was that upon joining with the names Marlene Sayers and Beverly Keel. Those two names are synonymous with genealogy in Wellington and throughout New Zealand. The two names, Beverly Keel and Marlene Sayers, are also synonymous with dedication and commitment to the New Zealand Society of Genealogists. And as already been alluded to, they normally come as a pair. Not always, <laughs> not always. I have seen them, have seen them individually uh, on the streets of Kilburnie when I've been over there. <laughs> there are, of course, many other members associated with the same levels and dedication of commitment, but it is Marlene and Beverly that we recognise today. Uh, NZSG President Gay Williams cannot be with us today. She's overseas, but she's asked me to convey the following message. The NZSG has partnered with Family Search and affiliated libraries since 2006, and we were delighted to have Marlene and Beverly assisting to establish this service at the National Library based in Wellington. We offer this service in Auckland, Wellington, and Christchurch, and we know how valuable it is to, our, to many of our members. I am sorry not to be here to share this occasion and hope you all enjoy the morning expressing your appreciation of the many hours Marlene and Bev have contributed to helping so many genealogists in their family history research. And I, end of quote. So it is on Gay's behalf that I present two certificates to um, Marlene and Beverly and the certificates record in appreciation of your contribution to the National Library Family Search Service since 2006. If anyone and I wanted with the Marlene and Beverly, we wanted to say. Oh, right. Oh. And if anyone wants to, they don't have to, but say a few words. They're welcome. We just point out that the Auckland office have been able to watch. NZSG office have been watching us for the last three quarters of an hour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you're <don't. laughs> <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's been really good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, apologies if I'm a bit breathless, but it's not passion. She comes from the sick bed. I've I come from the, straight from the hospital and have got to be back at 12. Um, I promise not to say um, but I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity to do what we've been doing. Because the first thing that I learnt was that I was able to further my own research. And I had the day when I went in on a Thursday and I could do my research for the whole day. Now, as genealogists, that's what we absolutely want because we don't get enough time to spend on what we love to do. Other things interfere. I've met some great people. I mean, I'm not leaving the world or anything, but just to let you know that I appreciate the people I've met, I've appreciated the help I've had, the staff have been amazing. And we've created an environment which I feel sure will not be forgotten, which will be continuing on, and I hope it will be around for at least another seven years. 
and hopefully you will all still be involved for another seven years, God willing. <laughs> and so thank you everybody for this lovely event. I'm quite overwhelmed by the lovely things people have said and I do appreciate what you think about it all. So thank you. Now it's your turn. <laughs> well, really, it's, you know, what she said. <laughs> no, it's been, it's been hard sometimes. Um, but I think the wonderful thing has been that people have come forward time and time again. We've rung them up and we've said, look, we're really stuck on the roster for Thursday mornings or whatever. And uh, people have put their hand up and said, oh, yeah, I can do, a, you know, three hours or so. And that was as, as organising the roster, which was yeah. my first job. <laughs> um, that was wonderful just to, to, to be aware of the willingness and the fact that people wanted to take the opportunity to come and contribute as well as be able to sit there for three hours and do their own research, which was always a good bonus. So uh, it has been, it's been good, it's been a lovely experience, but, and also to meet the National Library staff who mm. have always mm. been so helpful, so generous. Um, they come along and they say, gosh, that's looking good, you know, and we really like what you're doing. And that, that's been a very special part of it, I think, hasn't it, it to, yeah, to, it has to learn to know the staff and, uh, and also learn a bit more about National Library and how it functions and where things are on the shelves, although that was just a bit of a problem when they moved to, to the, uh, the redone, yes. <laughs> the redone uh, um, site. So, yes, thank you very much indeed. This is a real surprise to have this uh, this morning. We had no idea that it was going to be about us. We thought it was a, a get-together of the, the volunteers and everybody would say hello to everybody else. So, <laughs> so please do that. <laughs> okay, thank you.